bitch, oh, we got bulletproof glass now Bitch, I turned off, I feel like I want a Grammy I speak in Guapanese, I know he can't understand What's up guys, it's your boy Atomic coming at you with another Bullet Echo video and today we're going to be covering the two legendary heroes that we have finally unlocked in this game just so that we can see how good they are. I still have not seen any of the mythics yet but unlocking these legendaries was definitely a huge step. Just a side, a side mention if you guys did watch my best heroes in Bullet Echo video. After testing out these two legendary heroes, I've only played with them for a little bit. I still do believe that Stalker is the best hero in the game. But let's go ahead and cover these two heroes so you guys can make that decision for yourself. So the first legendary hero that I unlocked in this game is Angel. And Angel has a reinforced armor and a submachine gun. She can get through very narrow passages and put up a personal power shield. The fact that she's one of the smaller characters in the game does allow her to reposition herself and sneak around the map through those tiny cracks that you guys may have seen where you cannot get through with the traditional characters in the game. And let's look at her main ability here. This shield thing is insane. The hero creates a mobile shield. The shield has a durability of 15 and stops damage from, from most weapons for 7 seconds. The hero's movement speed is reduced by 15%. When I tell you that movement speed reduction is nothing compared to the shield that you get, believe me. So what this pretty much allows you to do is whenever you see someone, you just want to look straight at them and deploy the shield, and they literally can't do any damage to you as you sit there and essentially get free shots and damage off against them. And her submachine gun actually does a lot of damage. If you look at the damage here, it's 632. When you compare it to my almost maxed out stalker, it's nearly twice as much damage. You do have to be a little bit more precise as his gun, his AR, does or has 30 bullets per round and her SMG actually only has five, which is kind of shocking, but I guess it makes sense considering all of her abilities and you know the smaller character able to get around the map. Um, her stim ability right here, the hero loses the ability to shoot for 0.5 seconds you get plus 5% to the hero's movement speed for 4 seconds, and you restore plus 40 health per second to the hero over 4 seconds. So this ability right here, think of it, you know, most of the time I use this defensively. Like if someone lights me up and I'm very weak, I'll pop this, I'll be able to move quicker, get away from the opponent, and heal over time. This also allows me to run away and find maybe some armor on the ground or find some more ammo, whatever I need to get back in the fight. And then here we have her protective matrix, where she has the passive plus 6% to the hero's maximum armor, and on hitting an enemy, you get minus 25% incoming damage. So that means she's very good at trades. She's already good at trades. If you pop your shield, you're taking no damage. But even if you don't have your shield, the ability to look at your opponents, take them down while taking less damage is really good, especially since her health isn't as, as the other characters in the game. So let's have a look at her, her final ability right here, which is called Recycle. You get plus 10% to primary weapon damage against enemy armor for allies within a range of 200. So this is whenever you're playing as a team. This allows your team to do even better as well. So we're going to cover uh, the other legendary hero here in a second. But first, let's hop into a game with, uh, with Angel and see how we can do with her. All right, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and spawn in. And yes, this is what you like to see right here. Getting some full armor off the rip. We're able to get... Some ammo for her SMG. But like this is what I mean, guys, right? This SMG right here, five bullets. You gotta be accurate. And okay, so here comes the oh, enemy right here. Oh, but the damage. <laughs> the damage is insane. And honestly, she gets quite good armor. Normally, um heroes in this game, like it's it, it's very balanced. Like if you have a lot of armor, then your weapon doesn't do as much damage, things like that. But she has a lot of damage and her armor is very, very good. Let me get some more ammo right here. But you can't afford to miss, bro. If you if you strafe too much and you miss, you're in trouble. But here we go. See, like, little cracks like that, bro. The fact that you can run away from an opponent doing that is insane. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up this foregrip. So here I'm going to back off, reload, deploy the shield, and take him on again. And boom, he did not do a single bit of damage to me. I was able to come back into his face and just destroy him absolutely and he doesn't even like because when you're the opponent right you're not expecting that shield to come down there's a couple other characters that have that in the game as well but you're not expecting uh a shield and essentially for yourself not to do any damage so we got another fight going on here. he didn't even see me coming quick reload two guys left um let's see we already have the only thing we can pretty much do now is just get a bunch of perks try to get to the end of this with armor oh there's some games you just don't find armor it's so sad, but this game, I'm glad we got it. We just gotta pop our shield at the right time. They're fighting. I'm gonna go ahead and push it. Pop the shield. 
Reload. Oh, we already won. I didn't even, I didn't even realize that he took down the other guy. So that's going to go ahead and put us on a four win streak. Very, very easy dub with Angel. And you guys can see why she is a legendary character. Very strong. You just got to make sure you position yourself well. What Stalker, or my main character, what he does is he he uh, pretty much spoils me. The fact that I get to go invisible and just sprint around the map. So you got to really position yourself with this character. Make sure you utilize that. Especially if you don't have any armor because without armor you only have 700 health So if you position yourself poorly and you're not ready to activate your shield You're gonna get busted up rather quickly So on to the next legendary hero in the game and for those of you guys that like to just tank and sit there and have a billion health This is gonna be your guy. His name is smog and if you can just see right off the rip He's got 3752 health once again. I have him maxed out so it'll be different per, per um, your level but nonetheless, he's got one of the most health in this game. And Smog has a lot of health and a rapid fire machine gun. A machine gun. A lot of health and a machine gun. Listen to this guy's laugh, bro. He also has a underbarrel grenade launcher hitting enemies from long distance. So that's, that's the first ability right here, the major. He launches a rocket that explodes upon collision, dealing damage within a range of 379. Hero movement speed is reduced by 40%. I think that reduction is fair, considering the fact that you're about to blow someone into smithereens with that grenade launcher. So you want to grenade launch them from deep, right? Because you got more range, and then close the gap, finish them off with the machine gun. Uh, moving on to his next ability here, the battle kit. The hero is slowed down by 90%. That's a huge reduction. The hero loses the ability to shoot for five seconds. So, I mean, you got to be careful when you use this ability. You're going to get popped. But after five seconds, it restores 550 health and armor. So it's one of those things where you want to just sort of try and back yourself into a corner, pop it, and hope that nobody else is pushing up to you. But you get to get all that free reduction without having to uh, pick up additional armor from the floor. And then you have here his directional fire, the passive bonuses, plus 6% to maximum armor. This man's already got a bunch of health, now he gets to add more to his armor. And on taking damage, you get plus 5 to the hero's health. And then his last ability here is the tank of... um. Plus 16 health per second to allies within a range of 150 for one second. So everybody's just going to be tanking up, bro. I mean, he's a pretty straightforward character. Not, not a lot of tricks with this guy. It's just straight up. You want to abuse people with the fact that you have health, the fact that you have a grenade launcher from deep, and the fact that you got a chain gun to finish them up close. I mean, let's go ahead and hop into a game with this guy so I can show you guys exactly how to use him. All right, so here we go hopping and we're gonna find armor off the rip and now we're gonna be set for this game 100% look at that 3,752 health 1,974 armor and we are finding ammo now and with this guy like one thing of ammo is essentially enough because you just stack up your 100 out of 100 100 out of 200 just like that and we're just gonna see if we can find some people off the rip uh, once again this character is slower because he's obviously got more health so you have to be more tactical if you put yourself in a terrible position you're not going to be able to weasel your way out of it. And here we see people fighting. We're going to send a rocket and boom. If he didn't get that first if he didn't get that first kill, we were going to get a double kill right there. But it's all good. We shot the rocket up. We're going to get a bunch of ammo right here. And at this point, we can go ahead and play for power-ups. Try and beef up our weapons. All right, here's some more action going on over here. We're going to go ahead and push it. Ideally, when you're playing this game, you don't want to push every single thing you see, but with the, yeah, with the character is good, I mean, <laughs> I be mean, bro, you just go ahead and tank everything, you heard me. Nah, but uh, you want to play more tactical, but whenever I'm recording videos, I like to push as much as possible, just so I can show you guys the full use of their armor, or of their abilities, I mean. There's two guys left in this game. Alright, we're going to send a rocket. Damn, bro. Okay, so, <laughs> bro, don't... Bam! Both dead. Bro, those rockets are actually so good. They do way more damage than I thought. That's insane. Literally just one tap. So if you're going up against those like smaller characters and you got this beefy tank, oh, that is actually insane. So those are the two legendary heroes in the game. I hope that video helped you guys out, helped you understand how to use them a little bit more. I still want to try my best to unlock these mythics. They say they can be found in a chest maybe one of these days. We'll unlock them so we can cover them in a video and see how good they are. Ultimately, I personally still like Stalker the best just because of that that invisibility. That invisibility, man. For a character, I mean, you get a character that you start the game out with and he's this good. That invisibi invisibility is nice. Her, the angel, I think she's quite good as well because that shield. You know, she gets moved through a small crack. She's a very fast character. 
Her weapon does a lot of damage, but she doesn't have a lot of ammo in that weapon. So in some situations, if you're strafing the wrong way, you can run out of ammo. And if you don't have your shield ability up, you can be in trouble as well. And so that's why ultimately I still like Stalker. But I think I think they're all good, especially in team battles. When you start doing team comps, all these characters have their uh, pros and cons. You know, especially like this guy. I feel like he'd be very good in team battles with that rocket. If he sees like a group of people standing together, you fire the rocket. You do a lot of damage on all of them. You beef up your teammates as well and i mean overall it feels like every character in this game has their ability you know they all can do what they do and pop off but either way guys hope you enjoyed that and i'll catch you guys in the next bullet echo video